Hello and welcome to the Module 6 of Certified Business Analysis Professional CBAP Preparatory Course offered by Simply Learn. In the previous module, we discussed Enterprise Analysis. In this module, we will understand Requirement Analysis. This module is important as it collects most of the information in a form which details and validates the requirements that support solutions, the deliverables. Most of this module is dedicated to the discussion on how to drill down into requirements and determine if the suggested requirements can actually support the solution and its desired results. The tasks employed to determine the details of the requirements are prioritizing, organizing, defining assumptions and constraints, modeling, verifying and validation. Let us begin with the agenda of this module in the next slide. We will begin by understanding what requirement analysis is. We will then move on to discuss prioritized requirements, followed by organized requirements. We will then define assumptions and constraints. Finally, we will conclude with verifying and validating requirements. Let us find out what requirement analysis is in the next slide. Requirement analysis is providing the best requirements support to a solution to a need. Analysis of sponsor, stakeholder, needs start with the elicitation process. The foundation of any successful project is correctly identifying the need. Sometimes it may not be seen as a need by some stakeholders. Normally the sponsor of a project holds the key to what is seen as need. For example, stakeholders may not be aware of certain market changes which the executives in the organization may feel that they must take action on. On the other hand, stakeholders at the point of process concerned may not agree with the need identified by a different department in the company. For example, operations may not see the necessity of taking the time to track certain phases of a process, but accounting may need the information. That is why it is important to clearly define the need and how it might affect the company currently or in future. Moreover, the need usually has to be within the stated goals of the company. Consensus from all levels in the sphere of influence of the need and its solution should reach a clear majority consensus on the need and the possible requirements needed for a potential solution. Moreover, if there are any changes to these fundamental factors, a new agreement must be reached before proceeding further with the analysis. Different stakeholders may have different needs and the BA have to help uncover any potential conflict of needs, solutions and requirements. Sometimes as the process unfolds, stakeholders not seen directly involved with the need solution requirement chain may become involved with the process after the changes have been made. That is why it is important to revisit the stakeholder list, roles and responsibilities once a solution has been modeled and tested. Any potential conflicts need to be discovered before the real cost of implementation. Anytime there are any significant changes in need, requirement or solution, the consensus mechanism must be revisited and signed off by the sponsor.